Good morning. We are in the parking garage at Disney's Vero Beach Resort. Today is checkout day, so we are checking out. Um, but we're going to head over to Disney Springs. We don't have a flight until a little bit later, so we're actually going to try to get Gideon's cookies today. You think we're going to get them? Uh -huh. I think we're going to do it no matter what. I say that until we see like an hour line, but we'll see. I think we're going to get them. Uh, so, follow along. Let's go get some cookies. It is a gross, gross morning. Maybe the rain will drive away uh, people from going to Gideon so we can get cookies. Guess where we are? Also, this Chick fil A looks awesome on the outside. I am super cheap, so uh, I have tolls turned off. Like, we can't go on toll roads. So, the entire way is pretty much these back roads in Florida. Um, and they're just highways, so that's kind of funny. Uh, but we're kind of getting to see some Florida back roads and highways, so that's pretty cool too. So enjoying it, trucking along. We have a little less than an hour. Um, is our ETA on our on our GPS? We're back to Disney Springs. Here we go. We are in the parking lot here at Disney Springs. We're gonna go in and try to get some Gideon's uh, Gideon's cookies. We'll see how long the line is. And actually it's pretty busy, but not too busy. So I bet they're all going to Gideon's. As we are here, it is a Monday morning. It always blows me away like how many people are here on a random Monday morning in April yeah like at, at 26 minutes after it opens how many people are at Disney Springs like to eat and die I don't know it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense but hey I guess we're here aren't we <laughs> okay no. or Disney Springs there's no way these cookies are good enough to have a line this long at 10 30 goodness gracious look at this what is wrong with you people? They're, are these cookies that good? If these cookies aren't good, I'm going to be so disappointed. This is insane. So we were just told it was an hour wait and they might be switching to a virtual queue. Maybe. They also might not hear us. Millie, what are you thinking? All the chocolate ones. <laughs> yeah, for real. Let's get them all. I mean, for waiting an hour, right? Okay, so I'm going to find Amelia a water because she's thirsty. Um, I'm looking for a vending machine somewhere. But uh, <laughs> they started a, a virtual queue um, right behind us in line. So they're still doing the virtual queue at Gideon's, which is crazy still. So Amelia was thirsty, so I came and got water. I feel like a uh, super cheap person walking in like, hey, can I have some water? Um, I would be willing to pay for it, uh, but I'm happier to not pay for it. Uh, but got some water. We have been in line for 50, that's five zero minutes. And we have moved about a hundred feet and we still have all this to go. So yeah. We still have a ways to go here. And Amelia's gonna be right here in the red hair. But we did just book a Grand Floridian Cafe lunch in an hour, so that's exciting. I'm catching a whiff of these cookies as we get closer and whoa, it smells delicious. It smells like a, I was about to say bakehouse, but this place is called Gideon's Bakehouse, so that would make sense. Um, I don't know what the story technically is. I just know that it's really creepy and everyone here looks creepy. And I think the inside is supposed to be creepy. Um, so we'll, we'll see kind of what it's like once we get inside. It's starting to rain. So Millie's using the Gideon's pamphlet as an umbrella. Is it working? No? Shocking. We are so close. We can see the door. Also, they have books. I think the storyline is maybe this is, this, they have cookies and books. So rare books, antiques, and curiosities. I think it's the idea of the store we're going in, but they have cookies, which is kind of interesting. 
if we really wanted to, to get into the details, we would look this up and find out. So um, I might do that. We'll see. Oh, yeah. Whoa. This is creepy. This is cool, though. It smells so good in here. Look at the portraits. Okay, so we just bought like eight cookies. Um, seven, seven. We're gonna give some to family members, but uh, we just asked the backstory of that place, and it is awesome. Um, I like. I almost don't want to say what I heard because I know I probably misheard some stuff. Um, I think that you should go there and ask them for the backstory. One thing: all the books are real. She said this, and she said they're all real in first edition. The owner loves old books. I'm trying to think of all this stuff. She said it was actually like all the stats. Like it was actually founded in the 1800s because the owner found a book with like recipes and doodles, and the book was published in the 1800s. And it was called Gideon's. That was the name of the book, right? No, that was the name in, inside of the book. That was the name inside of the book. And uh, and so like that's where the name came from. And the kid who owned it was drawing a lot of doodles, which is where all the pictures come from. You'll have to ask for the rest. Um, but that's pretty awesome. So we're excited to give these things a taste. But first we're going to lunch um, at Grand Flirty and Cafe. And then we'll review these in a little bit. It's a cool view. There's the entrance to Magic Kingdom. We're not going there. We're going to Grand Floridian. Anyone want to get married at the Grand Floridian? Ah, welcome to Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. Where we are eating some lunch. So pretty. So, so pretty. Don't forget, if you ever want to stay at the Grand Floridian, send me an email at ban at keystodreamtravel.com. I can help you find the best rate for your stay. This resort is so pretty. This is so pretty. So, so pretty. Gorgeous. Oh, here goes the monorail. The Grand Floridian. Oh, it smells so good in here. This is so pretty. Gorgeous. Here we go, right at time. Alrighty, here we go. Camry's first, check these out, Caesar salads. They look wonderful, yummy. Well, I just paused off that salad. Um, super good. Amelia, what did you think? It's very good. Sweet. I also thought it was great. I thought it was perfectly flavored and um, seasoned and all that stuff. The chicken was good. So, great salad. The Caesar chicken, grilled chicken salad here at Grand Floridian Cafe. Well, we wrapped up lunch. We're now headed to the car. I think we're gonna head over to Stony Clover, which is a store. Uh, over at um, the Four Seasons Resort, um, which is here on Walt Disney World property, but it is obviously a Four Seasons Hotel. Um, but uh, we're just gonna continue on. The lunch was delicious, it filled our bellies. Um, and now we're just kind of killing time until we head out to the airport. So let's do this. There's the Four Seasons. Also, we just drove through Golden Oak to get over here. And uh, here's some more Golden Oak. 
what a beautiful neighborhood. This is a neighborhood that's on Disney's property. Um, and I can attest, it is not the cheapest place, but uh, it is beautiful. Just gorgeous. Here we are. Gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Hey there. Well, we are officially headed to the airport. I don't know if we're going to, when we're gonna try these cookies. Um, maybe at the airport? Or do we wait till we're home? We'll see, but we'll review them and let you know. Yeah. Arriving back at the airport. I don't know who invented these, but they're my favorite thing in airports. And maybe the world. No, just kidding. It's not my favorite thing in the world. But I do love these things. Last time we were here, security was insane. Yeah, and uh, actually it doesn't look too bad today, which is kind of nice. That's a good thing. We're on this tram. Alright, we're finally going to try one of these. Let's see how it is. Hold on. I'm going to try the peanut butter, which is my personal one. We kind of got several different ones, but let me show you how the peanut butter one is as I dig into it. It is delightful. It almost tastes like you're eating cookie dough, but it's a real life cookie. That is so good. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Mmm. Eat one. We are going to go ahead and close out this video as we get on this flight. Um, so, here's what you need to do. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment on what flavor of Gideon's cookie you would get uh, if you went to Gideon's and which one that you want to try next time you go to Gideon's. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. It means a ton to me. Have an awesome day.